What's going on? You're watching NFL Daily by Chat Sports, and Father's Day is right around the corner, so we want to hit you with this special deal. Go to chatsports.com slash strong because we are stronger together, and you're going to be able to rep your favorite NFL team. We have them for all 32 teams. All you got to do, it'll be in the comments. It'll be in the description, so you can scroll on down and look. But go to chatsports.com slash strong because it's a perfect Father's Day gift, only $13.99 if you buy it right now. Mm -hmm. And Father's Day... It's coming up, man. You it's have missed your window. You better order it right now, guys. <laughs> no, we're trying to keep the window just a little bit open. Yeah. So we're trying to help you out June yeah. 21st. Don't forget. Also, you can always get something nice for your dad or for your grandfather. Check out the link below. All right, let's get into our Q&A time where we got Benjamin Wicket. Chiefs trade Chris Jones and a fourth round pick for Stephon Gilmore. It's interesting. That's actually uh, Decent trade. I, I, if I was the Patriots, I'd probably still say no because I want Gilmore. Yeah, I think the tricky part with the Patriots is that you are the one having the, the monetary impact. You still got to yep. pay Gilmore a little bit, and you got to make Chris Jones potentially a $20 million per year man. I think value-wise, like in like a Madden type of trade, I think you're probably, you're pretty probably in the ballpark. Yeah. I'm just not sure it's a great real-life trade. Honestly, Benjamin, that's one of the better trades we've gotten. But let's it's, go it's to, creative. Let's go to LSU Saints. Where will Logan Ryan sign? I think you want him to sign with the Saints. I don't necessarily hate that idea. The Jets and Dolphins, dream up, have been heavily linked. I think Logan Ryan will find a spot. The, the reports coming out of the, the national media is that Ryan is asking for too much money. He allegedly wanted $10 million per year. He doesn't have a chance of getting that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not convinced he ends, up go, he ends up getting that price tag, but he'll sign somewhere. I think it can still be a quality nickel corner for an NFL team, be it the Jets, the Saints, or, heck, maybe the Seahawks should have interest. And you're looking at another player who I think thought his value was up here, like a Jadevian Clowney, and actually realized it's, you know, maybe a little bit down there. Let's go to Clay Puthoff. Will Tannehill be better than last year? I'll actually say no. I think part of the, the, the concern I think you're going to see with Tannehill is that the supporting cast will, to an extent, come back down earth. I can't remember what the exact number was, but I did see this, that the the deep passes uh, that were on target for Tannehill were all caught. Every, everyone, or almost everyone, which never happens in the NFL because your receivers drop passes. So Tannehill, I think, will play at a relatively similar level. I just think there might be some natural regression to the mean, especially from a statistical standpoint. Well, you get a super chat. And remember, when you super chat here on Chat Sports, you jump the line, get your question on the show. I like this one a lot from David Vilma. Five years, 75 mil with 60 million guaranteed for Kittle. So the 60 million is interesting because that's what Amari Cooper was able to get guaranteed. But he got a five-year, $100 million deal. So five years, 75, 15 million. I mean, the 60 million, that's the real intriguing number. To me. I, I think it's a fair offer, especially yep. with that level of guaranteed. I'm sure there's some guaranteed for injury, so maybe like the guaranteed at signing is a little bit lower, but yep. we always use the, the guaranteed for injury as, as the actual number. I, I think it makes some sense. The, the per year is 15, maybe a little bit lower than what Kittle wants, but the higher guaranteed, I think, kind of balances it out. So I think it's a fair offer. I don't know if Kittle accepts it, but I, I think you're in, in, in a good spot there, David. So we want you to join the Noti gang. Why would you want to do that, right? You can get videos sent straight to your phone. So if you subscribe to the channel, you can click the bell. You can join the Noti gang. That way you get them right to your phone. But sometimes I hear, Mitch, I turn on my notifications. I'm still not getting them. Yeah. Well, maybe it's not so much a YouTube problem. Maybe it's your mobile phone problem. So I'm trying to help you out here, okay? So go to your settings app on your phone. And then scroll on down, and I want you to tap YouTube. The icon's right there. Then tap notifications, and then hit turn on allow notifications. What does that do? Basically like this. You see that I got stuff popping up on my phone? That's what's going to happen when we drop a video. We're just trying to help you out, staying up to date, the latest news, rumors, all the videos we do here. Turn on your YouTube notifications. Also do it on your phone. All right, let's go to the next question coming in here. Make sure you guys are using hashtag NFL. Shanav, who's a... Broncos fan. Big time Bronco fan. Uh, Drew Locke breakout season. That's been very popular. Uh, I have seen Since some. Thomas Mott's uh, look, frankly, I have seen some pretty wild takes about Drew Locke and his handful of games last year. But I do think a, a breakout season is the hope and even the expectation in Denver. Put the pieces there. I'm not convinced he suddenly becomes a top 10 or even a top 15 quarterback this year. Yep. But I think he's going to show enough promise for Denver to go. 
this is our guy, this is our long-term franchise quarterback, and it'll take some time for him and Judy to get on the same page potentially, but I do think you're going to see an improved Drew Locke, and I think Broncos fans should be excited about the future that they have going Shanab, I know you're a big Broncos fan. If you go to chatsports.com slash Broncos TV, mm -hmm. you can sub to our Broncos channel. Let's go to Sir Meeps a lot. Viking straight Dalvin Cook, a second, a fourth, and pick for Yannick Ngakwe and Leonard Fournette. I think the Jags say no. I don't think they're getting enough back. Because I, I think that they're you're they obviously want a first for Yannick. Yeah, you're upgrading going from you from can, Dalvin Cook's a better running back than Leonard Fournette. Yes, I do. So you're upgrading at the running back spot by how pay. much, though? you got to pay. Maybe maybe you're upgrading by like a third-ish. Okay. Maybe it's, it's actually probably more like a fourth pick. So you're getting an extra fourth there on top of that. I still think if you're the Jags and you're trading to the Vikings, you probably want a first-round pick. Now, maybe what you would instead do is try and work out a four net for Cook trade on its own, which I think is a fairly wild, but an idea that does make some sense. I think it's a fun one, though. Let's go to Anthony Renan. 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 Okay. I'm going to pronounce it. Sounds cooler. Well, Renan, uh, get a pick. <laughs> Who has more chance of being signed, Newton or Kaepernick? I think it's pretty clearly Cam Newton. Yeah, I'm also like, going to go with Cam Newton as well. I mean, play. I understand that he's banged up. I know we've done some different shows around him. So, mm. you know, we're going to just go to the comments here from Anthony. Who signs first? Type N for Cam Newton. Type K for Colin Kaepernick. We have had a lot more Colin Kaepernick discussions lately. Mm -hmm. I think that's more because of the Black Lives Matter movement. But mm -hmm. if you'd ask me right now, who would I take? I would still take Cam Newton. I, but I think Newton makes the most sense here. I mean, Kevin Otto's typing N for Newton. I mm -hmm. haven't seen any Ks yet. Uh, somebody's saying Sweetings just says, hi, Tom. No, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Johnson says Colin Kaepernick is no not a good quarterback. No one says N. I, I think it's all Ns. Sweetings. Yeah. What's up, brother? All right, let's go to a super chat we got coming in here from America's team, one of our most loyal watchers, Cowboys and DJ Swearinger. I know he signed a one-year contract, so what about next offseason? How much would he cost? Look, Swearinger had his, had his best years with the Redskins, and then he got cut because he really was not getting along whatsoever with that coaching staff. Producer Alicia, not a big fan of DJ Swearinger. Since then, he's played for the Cardinals, he's played for the Saints, I think the Raiders as well, and he hasn't been the same guy. He's now entering his age 29 season. He'll be, I think, a rotation piece for the Saints in that back end. I don't think he's going to be very expensive next year, it, it, unless he has a sudden like resurgent year yep. like he did for that one year with the Redskins in 2017, wasn't as good in 2018. I, I don't think like you bring in Swearing and you go, fixed all the safety issues. I think you go, okay, we, we, we got some veteran depth. I'm not sure how substantial an upgrade he is over George Aloka. I and mean, I think he is an upgrade yep. from what Aloka was and, of course, the team last year for the Cowboys. I just don't think he ends up, like, fixing all of your safety issues like maybe you would have thought he could have back in that 2017-ish season. So we want you guys to use hashtag NFL or you can super chat to kind of jump the line. Let's go to the next question coming in here on today's show from one of our uh, very loyal, very loyal watchers, Kevin Otto. Will the Bengals agree to a contract extension agreement with A.J. Green, or will this be his last season in orange and black? Great question, right? Uh, I think this might be Green's last year. What the Bengals should do is pay Green, overpay Green if you have to, get a reliable, solid, high-character veteran to help out that locker room as you bring in a new quarterback in Joe Burrow, yep. who, of course, will help your young franchise quarterback on and off the field. I'd pay Green, even if they were paying like the Cardinals did for, for Larry Fitzgerald. The Bengals, I'm not convinced that's the route they end up pursuing. And I do want to make note, by the way, they kind of did Andrew with a, little, a little bit dirty. Like they, they low-balled Andrew Whitworth because they didn't think anyone else was going to sign him. And now he's still being a great left tackle in the NFL. They wanted to go with their young guys. They all sucked. The Bengals have regrets with that, I believe, and they should. You don't want to make the same mistake twice with A.J. Green. So I'd pay him. I guess we'll wait and see. Be a little bit worried if A.J. Green started uh, starring in the new show. Not new show. Old show, Orange is the New Black. So did you wash your hands today? Terrible joke. Give me a Y for yes, or I want you to give me an N for no. And I hope every single person's typing Y. Yes. If you're thinking about typing N, go wash your hands. Like, Or just get some hand sanitizer. Let's stay clean. Something. Let's stay safe. That's what I'm trying to get here. Somebody is typing in. No, no, Rashard, wash your hands. Go wash your hands. It also makes me kind of worried that it's 6 o'clock. Did you not it's, go to the bathroom it's, today? It's, it's, yeah, it's just kind of gross at that point. Why for yes and for no. Bottom line here is we're just trying to help you all stay safe. 
If you go to chatsports.com slash stay safe, you're going to be able to get three NFL face masks of your favorite team for the low price of $24.99. So we have all 32 teams. Shout out to, uh, I was going to say producer Dylan for taking that picture. We got Seahawks. They got the all white ones. We got 49ers. There's Dylan again. But we got a three pack of NFL face masks, like $24.99. I don't know if it's the best Father's Day gift, but hey, it's a gift. It's, 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 it's a sensible one. It's a sensible gift. There you go. It's a great stocking stuffer. Chatsports.com slash stay safe in the comments and then in the description. Richard, Dak trade to the Patriots. Go. I hate that idea. Um, Patriots should love it because you, you get a, a franchise quarterback in Dak Prescott. Boom, you're back to competing and winning playoff games and making runs at Super Bowls. I think that uh, uh, collectively, the NFL has to get, and this is collusion, it's not allowed, collectively has to get together to make sure Belichick can't get a, another top 10 quarterback. They, they, they can't tank for Trevor Lawrence, they can't swing a trade for Dak Prescott or end up with some other great quarterback because it's time for some change in the NFL. No more Patriots dynasty. I agree. Patriots fans, of course, completely disagree with me. It's actually a compliment to them that, that I even said that. Let's go to Nolan. What up, brother? Will the Broncos make the playoffs this upcoming season. So I say no. I the, think the, the hype is getting, at least from what we've seen in our comment section at times, is getting a little wild for me. Yeah. I think there, I think that, that there's going to be a second and or third AFC West team that really makes a, a strong push for the playoffs. I think Denver could be that. I know they finished the year super strong. I just got to see it for an entire year before I fully jump in on that Denver bandwagon. Now, if you give me like playoffs in the next two to three years, I'll actually probably, probably go yes. I think give the Broncos that extra time. could at least be a dark horse, right? Because if Drew Locke does turn out to be everything the Broncos hope, they put a lot of talent around him mm -hmm. even last season in the draft, this year mm -hmm. as well. You go out and sign Melvin Gordon. So, interesting. I'm still going to say no, the Broncos don't make the playoffs. So, we did get a lot of questions today on NFL Daily, and I apologize. Tom apologized that we couldn't get to all of them. So, if you have a question that didn't get answered, I would say two things. First, you can super chat real quick. Maybe we'll put it on the show. Or... You can ask Tom on Twitter. His DMs are open at what going downy, mm -hmm. or you can hit me up on Instagram. I'm at Mitchell Renz 365.